Good morning everyone. So today we're out in our power shed here. Um, the power shed consists of a 12 volt system for our diesel pump, our lights, some internet stuff, uh, critical stuff, and then it consists of a 48 volt system that powers the house. So what we want to do is, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a video on programming the kid in our 12 volt system for a lithium battery. This particular system has a 150 watt module as a canopy over the door that we'll show you in another video, a midnight solar 30 amp kid MPPT charge controller, and a kilovolt lithium battery. Uh, so what we've done, um, because we need to program this for the lithium, even though it has lithium in the parameters, that's still a generic set of you know voltages. It's going to be too low for most manufacturers. The uh, manufacturers like Midnight, Outback, and those guys do that on purpose so that you won't damage your battery. What you really need to do is you need to go to the manufacturer's website and get the data sheet to how properly um, program and charge for that battery. So what we've done, we've already calibrated our kid, and uh, what, what I mean by that is we've gone and checked the voltage of the battery with the voltmeter against what the kid display says, and it's spot on. We always want to check that with any equipment, be it Snyder, Outback, Midnight, I don't care whose manufacturer it is, always double check that to make sure you don't have a faulty piece of hardware or something that needs to be calibrated. So now what we did is we went to Kilovolt's website and we found a, a programming data sheet and uh, I'm not sure if Sue can get zoomed in on that a little bit. But they had this on their website for this particular battery. Um, this was done by Morningstar, which is not the charge controller we have, but it's a very similar charge controller. So we can use all these parameters to properly program our kid. So we're going to go through and we're going to show you how to program the kid for the lithium battery. Now, the programming we're doing here, really, what we're trying to do is show you how to set up the charge controller for lithium. We're going to talk about a couple things that we think are gutches that if you don't catch, that could come back and bite you. So the numbers I'm using here are representative of my particular battery. If you're using another lithium, could be Fortress, could be... Um, Battleborn, what you know, simplify whatever that name is. Uh, make sure you get these numbers specifically from them. Don't use my numbers for your battery, use my programming menus. You know, that's what you want to use. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the main menu and we want to go into the battery menu. Um, I don't know if Sue's zoomed in now. Okay, Sue says she zoomed in. So, you'll see I pushed the little round button down bottom lab label main menu. And if battery's not in brackets, we want to go back and forth until it is, we press enter. And virtually everything we're going to mess with is in here except for one setting. So the first thing we want to do is go into the absorb menu. And here, uh, our, this particular battery is calling for 14.1 volts of absorb. And they're calling for 15 minutes of absorb time. And this is one of the things that you'll see that a lot of the uh, lithiums vary on is the amount of absorb time. Some of them have zero, some of them have a few minutes. So this is one that's critical um, to get correct. It takes a while to get down to 15. Now we're going to press the save button. Top right button says save. And you'll see it says it saved that. We're going to press the main menu button once to back up. And then we're going to go to float, FLT. And we're going to go into the float menu. And this manufacturer is calling for 13.8. 13.8. And then we're going to save that. We're going to back up one menu. We're going to go to EQ. And I know you're probably thinking, why EQ? We don't EQ lithium. And that's absolutely correct but we want to make sure that we've set up so that if anybody comes in and mucks with this, they can't accidentally start an equalized charge and over voltage the battery. What we want to do in here is we want to make sure that we set the parameters such that if anybody does get in mucking around with our kid, they don't actually start an equalized charge and over voltage the battery. And the biggest reason we don't want to do that is with the lithium, there's a thing called a BMS, a battery management system in the battery. And it watches all of that. And if it sees the voltage going too high or too low, it'll open the circuit and shut the whole system down um, as this fail safe. You know, the, the lithium does not want to be over voltaged. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna zoom back in here and we're gonna show you how to uh, 
basically foolproof the equalization. This is one of those things I was saying I think gets overlooked. It's easy to say in a piece of paper, no equalization, but I'm gonna show you how to make sure the kid cannot equalize. So first thing we're gonna do is make sure it's off and it's in manual. Now we're gonna press the setup button. And you'll see here it's 15 volts for 120 minutes. So somebody got in here and actually started the manual equalization. That wouldn't be good. So we're gonna set that for the same as our absorb, 14.1 volts in 15 minutes. And what that does for us is if somebody does get in here mucking around and start an equalization charge, it's gonna just do another absorb cycle, which isn't the end of the world. Uh, won't hurt the battery, um, you know, life will be good. So it's just that belt and suspenders I was talking about. And then we're gonna save that. And we're going to back out of here. We're gonna back up once more. And now we don't need to worry about amp limit because this is a 30 amp charge controller. This battery is good for about 150 amps, so we wouldn't need to worry until we got a lot of those, so we won't go into that menu. T-Comp, we're gonna go into the T-Comp menu. And here, we do not want to do any temperature compensation. So on the kid, we run that down to zero, and that disables the temperature compensation. We're gonna press save. We're also going to unplug the battery temperature sensor, the BTS. If you actually plugged it in or your kid came with one, now's a good time to unplug that because the only thing the kid uses that BTS for is, you know, to adjust the charging voltage based on temperature of the battery. And uh, we don't want that at all on a lithium. So we're going to go back out of there. All right, so that concludes programming in the battery menu. So there's one more thing we want to do is we want to go program the load. Uh, in the load menu, we're going to actually, we're gonna set the load up to run a night light eventually outside on this building. But for now, what we wanna do is we wanna actually make sure that the low voltage disconnect for that load is set. So we're gonna to go to setup. And you'll notice right now it's off, which basically what that it means is the kid will actually try to run the load until the battery gets so low the kid shuts off, which is about six or seven volts if I remember right. So we don't want that, we want to actually set some parameters. We're gonna press the right arrow once, and we're going to change the low battery to 12.1, 12.1, and the reconnect to 13 volts. So I'm gonna save that before I forget it, and then I'm gonna explain what we've done here. Okay, so what we have done is we've now programmed the kid to work with the lithium. Uh, what we just did in this menu was we set the load up. So what's happening here is if the load comes on, if our lighting comes on, and the battery starts to go low, when it drops below 12.1 volts for 30 seconds, it's going to shut the load off, disable the load if you will, to protect the battery from over discharging. And then the 13 volt number here, that's the number when the sun comes out and the battery voltage starts to rise. It has to exceed 13 volts for 30 seconds in order to actually reactivate the load circuit, you know, as a battery protection. So last thing we're going to do is we're going to press the little bottom button here called status, and it's going to bring us back to our home screen. We're going to see that the kid is actually charging. It's, it's still pretty early here, so we're only getting one watt. But that's ba basically how we program the KID MPPT to work with virtually any lithium battery. Like I, I stress though, go to the manufacturer's website, get something like this. It doesn't have to be for midnight. If you find something that's for a Morningstar charge controller, a Snyder charge controller, Outback charge controller, they all program virtually the same way. So you can take this sheet, you can uh, you know, extrapolate what you need to do. And if you get any questions, you, know, you can definitely take this sheet, you can get on the phone with Midnight's tech support, and they can convert this sheet into parameters that you need to put in here. So they're really good about that. If you call them up and say, I have a lithium battery and I don't know what I'm supposed to charge the voltage to, they're probably going to tell you to go figure it out. But if you have these parameters, they're more than happy you know, to help you set them in. So we'll leave a link to Midnight Solar down below so that you can uh, you know, know how to get a hold of them if you need help programming your kids. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.